Hello everyone and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke and this is tip number 231, Web Templates as Components. Microsoft continues to release features for Power Pages that bridges the gap between low-code and pro-code. One of these is the ability to create reusable web templates with parameters that can be edited in the Power Pages Design Studio UI. The first step is to have someone create a web template and include the manifest liquid tag. You use the manifest to define what type of component it is, the name, which Dataverse tables the component uses, as well as the parameters. You can include as many parameters as you wish. Just define the ID, name, and description. Parameters are available in your web template as variables based on their ID. Once you have the web template created, you can add it to your web page. For now, it needs to be added directly to the source code. The easiest way to do that is to use the VS Code for Web integration. In the future, we expect you'll be able to add these components via the Power Pages Design Studio UI directly. The type parameter in your manifest will control where your component will be available, either by adding as a section or adding as a component. Once added to the page, you can click the Edit Custom Component button to change the parameters. You can also use the Edit Data button to edit the tables, as you defined in your manifest. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 231 on Web Templates as Components useful.